So I was wandering around Twitter one day and came across a video of underrated YouTube gamers. I watched the video but quickly realised the people being promoted in this video had far more subscribers than the guy actually producing the video, making me question if the video actually had some impact or was nothing more than a cute token gesture. Then looking over to my own subscriber count, I realised I'm slightly in a point of influence. Gaming on YouTube is harder than increasingly competitive as I've been discovering on my own channel Wink Witch Nudge Nudge, and seeing how I'm running out of YouTubers to make compilations of, I have no personal gripes in moving focus a bit. When I say underrated YouTubers, I mean below 5,000 subscribers and still active. For the sake of simplicity, I'll only talk about game reviewers, no musicians or let's plays. Also, don't think just because I like these guys doesn't mean I'm not going to give them a full critique. Even if I have a small problem with them, I'm going to say it, although you will have to take what I say with a grain of salt since everything is so subjective. Now we've got the rules out the way, let's talk about the best underrated YouTube gamers you should probably check out before you realise your actions have no meaning in the grand scheme of the universe. Number 1. Long Arm Show It's time. He's definitely the most underappreciated YouTube on this list, being around for two years and only making about a thousand subs at the time of scripting. Videos are very well edited, ranging from full reviews just over 10 to 15 minutes to short reviews not exceeding 5 minutes. There's some really good comedy in his videos, and none of his jokes ever outstay its welcome. I'm not even kidding. These are the exact progression the levels go in. It sincerely moves from a pleasant forest to a rainy mountain to what appears to be a place where I imagine people who constantly quote vague motivational light phrases on the internet will go. A hallway of skulls! That being said, I don't think all of his jokes are on point, but it's so fast-paced it's hard to notice all the time. Oh hey, he has an England shirt. That segues nicely to... Farfetch Reviews. And when I finally got my hands on it, I put it on my shelf for four months and never really played it. Because I'm an idiot. A British guy that mostly does games that were released recently, or at least within the past year. These videos are very well scripted, combining jokes and opinions near flawlessly. You could definitely decide whether or not you want to play a game solely based on one of his videos. Don't worry about spoilers though, because as he puts it... I'll just do what I always do and pretend I know more of the story, but won't actually say what the story is by saying that I won't spoil it. Just to cover my bases. Pretty much every possible criticism and praise is addressed in around 10 minutes of video. The editing style is very subtle and played well to the show's advantage, but if I must criticise anything, a lot of the time it does sound like he's giving up talking at the end of his sentences. Nonetheless, he is probably my favourite person on this list. But from a name that Spellcheck thinks is wrong to a name Google thinks is the sound a Dutch person makes when trying to regurgitate a Swedish meatball, Jaradex is definitely the underrated YouTuber I've been subscribed to the longest. MAGNIFICENT! He does comedy game reviews that honestly aren't released as frequently as a lot of other YouTubers due to the size of his videos sometime reaching 20 minutes and a heavy editing style drawing out the process even longer. He does however have a really good shoot the shit podcast called Thought Cam between him and his selection of sociopathic friends. I will say that I do feel a lot of his jokes in his reviews have way too much build up for the quality of the punchline, really he's at his best when he's short and concise. So I guess I fucked around in this mall enough, might as well just climb down this snake eater ladder and... Fight a penis vagina. I know I've given this guy more criticism than anyone else on this list, but he super deserves a shot, and if nothing else, his podcasts are really funny. And one of the people on this podcast is VZ. Oh, hi there. VZ is more grounded in opinions and facts, with comedy being something that's peppered about. So we open to find Chris Redfield in a bar in Eastern Europe, clearly trying to forget about Resident Evil 5. But then again, so am I. It does short videos lasting around 5 minutes up to bigger projects taking between 13 and 18 minutes, doing videos on pretty much whatever game he feels like. Even his editing style is reminiscent of telling someone to use their imagination. Freaking vampires? Yeah. Damn vampires. Just, like, can we, can we talk about the vampires for a second? No? I'm just gonna keep walking? Fine, alright, go find some more gems for the jeweler, what's his face? He definitely knows where his strengths are and plays them towards the best of his abilities. I will say I do find his videos a little too slow paced for my liking, taking a little longer than necessary to transition to the next point, and I do find he does ramble at times. Rambling could be argued since it's more like gushing over games, and that's not something I can honestly blame him for. But speaking of gushing over games, Beyond Polygons is probably the newest channel on this list. Let's begin. The main show on the channel is what makes games unique. A series of short videos averaging between 3 and 6 minutes quickly detailing exactly what the title says. Imagine really freaking clever with all the fluff taken out. What makes Undertale unique is how it understands the minds of players and builds an encompassing experience that breaks the fourth wall in ways that can captivate any kind of player. He also has a much less frequent show called Backlog Blast which is a much more stereotypical review style. 
I personally do not like Backlog Blast for being way too much of what everyone has seen before, not to mention it does sound like he's a little too under-infused about the whole situation. But kudos on what makes games unique. I'd be wishing the best to all these guys. Annotations on the screen to take you to their YouTube channels and links to their social media are in the description. By the way, I don't intend on making another one of these videos. When you have a compilation channel, there are only so many people you can siphon views off before you get tired. Watch these guys, they're all cool. We good? Okay. See ya.